Well, hello. Um, Kim's friend Liam, shout out to Jonesy, hello Jonesy, said that I should explain a little bit why I'm doing these recipes for people. So, these are recipes for recovery for me. And it all started when, um, oh, two years ago, I was invited to be the guest speaker at a charity dinner at the House of Lords. And it was because I'd written a book called Churchill's Shadow, and of course Winston Churchill probably walks those corridors. And um, I'm now got the royalties back from that book, and I'm actually going to be giving some of those to the charity, which is the Reading Hospital. But in the meantime, I got called up for a breast scan routine, expected it to all be clear, and it wasn't. So I ended up having a mastectomy and a reconstruction, thought everything was okay, was actually told by two different doctors to go away and live my life. And, and um, Carol Ann Barrett, who's my therapist um, for lymphatic drainage, which is fantastic, um, suggested that I should have a scan. Um, and so when I next went to see the oncologist, I asked for one, only lo and behold, a year later after the breast cancer to find I've got lung cancer this side um, and ended up having the top lobe of the lung removed. It was at this stage that I was feeling pretty powerless with cancer and thinking, you know, what can I do to fight this? And all I thought of was, was to make my body as healthy as possible to fight the cancer. So that's what I've been doing. And again, Carol Ann, she recommended um, Dr. Gundry's Plant Paradox diet. Um, I had tried the Mediterranean diet. I tried a no sugar diet. Um, I'd tried a keto diet. And none of those had really worked for me. Um, and I knew they weren't working properly because I had diarrhea, lovely. So, um, so I went on the Plant Paradox diet, which is quite difficult to do, but then people have been asking me about the recipes I've been doing. There is a Plant Paradox cookbook, which you can get, um, and it's got some super recipes in, but these are my own recipes. And now two years I'm clear of cancer altogether, and everywhere, I have a PET scan every six months to check. So one of the things on the Plant Paradox diet is you can't eat fruit. So today I'm going to do a smoothie using a fruit I've never used before. Um, you can apparently eat green bananas. So these, this is a green banana and I'm gonna try putting it in a smoothie. I don't know if you can actually eat it. Oh, it peels like a banana, which is good because I've also used plantains and fried them off. They're lovely in a curry, um, which are banana, uh, from the banana family. So here is a green banana. I'm gonna give that a bit of a chop. Pop that in to my um, uh, blender. God. Now, what am I gonna put with it? Well, I'm gonna put some flaxseed with it because I just think it tastes nice and it's really good for you. So, nice spoon of flaxseed. That should go well with the banana. I wonder if you can eat these bananas. Actually, I'm gonna try it a bit to see if you can eat it. Oh, you can. Well, okay. Tastes like a normal banana. I've got some coconut milk here that's left over from a curry I made last night. And I'm gonna put that in, that's about a tablespoon. I'm gonna put my old favorite in, Inulin, Golden Greens. Um, this feeds your good gut bacteria, apparently. Now, one thing I do want to say is, one, I'm not a chef, I've had to learn how to cook, and two, I'm not a doctor. 
So this diet, which is I'm calling the Get Well Linda diet, is really just on a sample of one. But here I am, I'm not too bad. So, well, very good actually, I feel really healthy. Now I'm in France today on holiday and they have this great stuff, hemp, which you can get. Um, and if you actually look at the uh, um, plant, you can see <laughs> it's actually from cannabis, but it's got the THC molecule taken out, which is the active molecule. But still, makes quite a nice addition to our smoothie. It's an optional. Next, I'm going to put in some coconut oil. This one is um, uh, without any flavours in it at all, so it doesn't actually taste of any flavours. And it's organic bio. So I'm going to put in a spoon of that. And then to sweeten it up a bit, stevia instead of sugar or stevia. I wish I knew how to pronounce it. If anybody knows, let me know. And there we go. So now I'm going to add some almond milk, which I forgot, so I'm going to rush to the fridge. This almond milk being in the fridge a while, I wonder if it's still okay. taste it, make sure it's still okay. Yep, that's okay. So I'm going to add some almond milk. Right, well this is an experiment, this is the first time I've done this one, so we'll make sure, see how it comes out. Oh, oh, forgot. Ice, 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 ice. Ice makes you nice. So I'm going to put the ice in. I'm going to put the machine on because it's really loud. I'm going to stop the video and then come back and taste it and tell you what I think. So here I am back again and I've just blended that. Any old blender will do, even a hand blender will do. Just to, ooh, right. A nice brown colour or beigey. Right, let's see how this turns out. One of these big straws, it's a plastic one I know, but I pinched it from a cocktail bar. I'm going to have to go back and have another cocktail because I need to use them again. But I rinsed them out with boiling water when I finished, so I keep using them. Right, let's try it. like a thick malty milkshake. Hmm. Anyway, enjoy and if you want more recipes you can have a look in Dr Gundry's book, The Plant Paradox Cookbook. There's lots of really good recipes in here. Yum. So, you can have a look in that, but I'll also be showing you how I cook my lunch and cook my dinner. Um, and, well, keeping fit and healthy. A great side effect was I lost 10 kilos. I kept, just kept losing weight every month for about six months. And finally got down to the weight that I was when I married Gordon 26 years ago. And actually got back in the dress. Woohoo! So... Until next time, bye Viv, bye Tina, Stacey, Lynn, and anyone else who's watching. If you give me a shout, I'll give you a call out. Bye.